it's skin regluing. It's nowhere near as daunting of a task as one might think. And with a good work surface, a couple tools and some extra glue, uh, it's a pretty easy thing to do uh, yourself at home. Now, every brand on the market also sells glue. So Pomoka, Black Diamond and Contour Ski Trap here sells um, liquid adhesive that needs to cure for 12 to 24 hours typically. Other brands like Coltex, G3, Cola and Contour also will make um, a transfer tape, which is a bit easier to use in some cases, but you have to iron on quite hot and then let sit for a little bit of time. Tonight we'll do a liquid application for Pomoka. Um, compatibility wise, so typically everything that's a canvas textile backer, so Coltex, Cola, Contour, the old Pomokas, um, will work well with transfer tape, but everything that has a vulcanized or a rubber lamination will uh, work better with um, the dedicated um, liquid glue that works for that brand. Now, Black Diamond, for example, works great with on some G3 skins. It also probably works quite well on Pomoka skins. Uh, it comes down to what you're looking at achieving and what you're able to source yourself. Um, for tools, here in the store, we use a heated scraper. So the heated scraper is really convenient because it's super easy to do and it's very quick. But the next best thing would be to use a heat gun along with a drywall compound scraper. Um, I use this as well as a voile strap. You're going to need some tape just to secure your skin on your work surface. A couple foam brushes. Uh, you will have to evenly distribute that liquid glue all over your skin before you let it cure. So something that's cheap, a dollar at the hardware store, that uh, it won't be too messy and that also won't leave bristles um, on your skins is the best thing to use. So rubber, uh, sorry, foam brushes here. Um, Let's show you how I scrape the skin and then we'll do a re-glue and apply the glue uh, together. So I taped my skin on my work surface nice and uh, snug just to make sure we don't have uh, too much stuff moving. Uh, if you don't have a heat gun, you could always probably use a hot blow dryer or like a waxing iron and make sure you try to melt the glue as much as possible and then scrape it off. Here, I'm just gonna secure the scraper with the voice strap on the heat gun, and then we're good to go. Temperature wise, don't go too hot. Um, you want to melt the glue, but you want to start burning the skin. So enough heat to melt, but not too much heat so that you uh, damage the backer. So that's what I use here. Um, you don't want to put too much pressure because you don't want to remove the rubber part, especially in Pomoka. Like if you scrape and you can start seeing some white thread, you're going a little bit too hard. So some heat, but not too much pressure. So we're just gonna go ahead and then scrape and you stop essentially when your skin is um, not sticky or has very little stick. That's the same thing, no matter what brand hot melt skin you are regluing, it will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. skins are scraped, so when I touch them, they're not sticky at all, they don't leave any residue on my hands. Uh, they're both secure on the counter, so there's no movement. Uh, Quantity-wise, uh, a pair of skins, depending on the length, will need about a tube and a half of glue for a full reglue. That's both for Pomoka and Black Diamond. So what I'll do is I'll open this tube up and then I'll just basically crayon, you just like do an S pattern all the way from the tail to the tip. It does harden up pretty quickly, so do it in sections. So I usually work about, you know, 30 to 40 centimeters at a time. I just do one little section, put my glue aside, grab a brush, even it out, and then I come back and I keep going 
until both skins have a nice even coat. You will be able down the road to even out a little bit more uh, areas where you have a little bit too little, but make sure you don't have too much glue. It's always easier to add than to uh, remove. So a tube and a half here uh, for that pair of Pomoka, that's for a 185 ski. That's it. So both my skins are re-glued. I've reapplied an even layer on both skins. Now I just have to let those cure for 12 to 24 hours. When in doubt, go longer. I find like typically a good like full day is uh, ideal. Then you will be able to just stick them together or on a backer and then you're on your way. Um, keep in mind that if you, uh, when you brush it, the glue is gonna start kind of getting a lot more cohesive together pretty quickly, so don't over brush. Um, and then if you need to reapply in the little sections, just make sure you don't brush too much because you're gonna start moving glue and kind of clumping it up. Uh, if you have like big mistakes or you have areas that are way too thick, just take a really clean waxing iron, like really, really clean, like base clean then as, as well as you can, and you can always when you're 24 hours into the cure, just do a quick little iron pass just to like set it a little bit more evenly if you do have a little bit of waves or areas that are a bit too thick. Otherwise, you are um, ready to go and those skins will be um, back to full performance just like they were there when they were brand new. So yeah, give it a shot at home and it's uh, worth the, the, the time and it's also worth the saving in uh, spending because the plush always um, lasts a lot longer than your glue depending on how much contamination you accumulate in that. Cool?